Chairman of the Full uh, Committee for Oversight and Government Reform, Mr. Issa. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and thank you for holding this important hearing. As my colleague from California, Ms. Spear, said, Obamacare is the law of the land. What she didn't say is sequestration is the law of the land, and both were signed by this President. So my expectation is that the President has to know that he has to live within the budget he signed. He has to live within the funding he signed. That the cost overruns that CBO now knows are in Obamacare. The it's going to be balanced to it's going to be nearly balanced to it's going to be a trillion dollar train wreck is coming. But that's not the subject today. The subject today, quite frankly, is the privacy of the American people and the accuracy of the data and waste, fraud, and abuse. I have less confidence in today's hearing for only one reason. A key witness, Sarah Hall Ingram, who has three years of full-time experience since the passage of the bill, in some inexplicable way finds herself unable to be here while I'm uniquely offered her boss. And I appreciate the commissioner being here, but that's unheard of. Time and time again, this committee has asked for cabinet officers only to appropriately find somebody beneath that person who is able to answer our questions. So today we're going to have the top boss and his 65 days and probably his 55th appearance on Capitol Hill to answer questions. And I appreciate his presence and, uh, and I'm not trying to belittle the, uh, the technical staff to be with him. But it goes to the root of this is a program so grand and so great that it pales Medicare in its shadow. It pales Medicaid in its shadow. And that's what we're dealing with. The data of every American potentially will be transferred or will be transferred. Now let's understand that. It's not being transferred to one place. In the cyber world, you have to look at every end tentacle. Somebody at some station somewhere in Chico, California, is going to have an outlet to the California exchange that is going to ultimately be connected to that data. So although the IRS might be able to put the database in an acceptable system and transfer it, who are they transferring to? The, Ms. Spear mentioned CMS. I think uh, also the chairman mentioned it. CMS. Now, this committee has recent experience. CMS is the organization that sent $15.5 billion to the state of New York in compensation excess of federal law. And then when we approached them, they wanted to phase it out over time while they were overpaying vast amounts of money to the state of New York, to New York institutions owned and operated by the state. That wasn't a long time ago. Mr. Chairman, that was this Congress. We still don't have that $15.5 billion. So when we talk about waste, fraud, and abuse, and we talk about the disclosure of personal information, we're dealing with disclosures that occurred under the IRS's watch under this president. We're dealing with waste, fraud, and abuse estimated by the Inspector General to be greater than the Army's budget. We lose more than the Army consumes in Medicare and Medicaid. So, a program that statutorily, and the gentlelady from California is right, the law is the law. The law says that the, we will not subsidize unless a state has an exchange. And yet, let, unilaterally, the president has proposed that state after state who chose not to be part of it are to have subsidies. So instead of having some states, we now will have all the states. Those who chose to do it will be subsidized. Those who chose not to, out of thin air, without statutory approval, there will be a federal exchange that will then be subsidized. Those are some of the things. Now, the gentlelady from California is a friend and a colleague, but we differ on some parts. She thinks that Obamacare has done a lot already. I think that it has already run up the cost of health care. And when the president determines, without statutory approval, that one portion will not be implemented for an extra year. That on employers, because of course it's not ready. And yet he thinks that an individual mandate and the standing up of exchanges and the forcing of every individual in America into a health care plan not yet defined with a database not yet secure is okay. I've got to tell him, I have doubts not about if 
Obamacare will someday be ready if all the bugs can be worked out. But with no pilot and no consistency of the legislation to the actual implementation, I've got to tell you, we're at least a year further out on not just the president's slowdown, but on the entire program. And I think today we're going to see exactly that, that the plans are there, but the pilot and test and, if you will, proof of concept being tested with those thousands or hundreds of thousands of terminal access points that could be what the ranking or the chairman from Homeland Security said, that weak link need to be tested. I look forward to hearing all of the uh, testimony and particularly the questions as to the weakest link, and I yield back.